Hey, down here. Well, we're going to get the uh, AS Rock going again. And, uh, <coughs> how many times have you seen that? I don't know, I just figure if it's going to jumble around the video, then I might as well show what I'm doing. Shake around. Because if I can't hold it on the screen and reach way down there. And I don't think I'm fast enough to start it after. Uh, start the video after the fact here. Okay, so default the live CD basic driver memory tester. Saw that on the uh, change hands. Maybe I won't be so bad. Saw that uh, in the text file in the in the desktop video I made of burnt putting this on the SD card in the USB adapter. Okay, so I'm gonna hit enter and <coughs> let it boot up. We'll see what we get. Seemed to boot up pretty quick. It's not a real big system. Oh, this is a, no way. I was gonna say it's uh, just a command line interface. It may be. May not work. Let's see. No, it's still working at it. Oh, it is okay. It's a terminal window. So. Let's see what all worked. Set it up, set up swap. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Keyboard. Network. That worked. SSHD cups. That's for Linux printing system. Dbus system. But. Oh, that's right. It's supposed to have a graphic interface because it has a web browser and everything. So I'm probably going to use the base of driver. I keep forgetting that, uh, of course, you don't know until you try, but these more basic systems aren't probably just doesn't look like they're going to have the driver for my video chip uh, to have full support. So it has just VESA or basic support. And down at the bottom, let's see, what did it not? Fatal server error. No screens found. Yeah, that's what I figured. Giving up. Or you could also check var log xorg. Yep. So x, x server did not start. So. <coughs> I think I may change funds and set this thing up static. Because it, it'll be better than me jer jer jerking around and everything. Let's see if I can do that. All right, I'm going to stop it here. And, because I can't type anything in that window. I want to hit reboot. I don't want to risk getting that thing not to recognize my SD card in the USB adapter like it does all the time if you hard shut it down. I want to hit reboot. So let's stop this one. I'll start another video in a second.